Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the sign of Taurus for the month of October. This is good for Taurus sun, moon, or rising signs. I hope you guys had a fabulous September. Hope you're enjoying this transition of seasons. Mmm, your energy feels really good. It feels really stable. It feels a little bit hesitant. What are you guys hesitating about? Let me see. Ancestors, spirits, guides. Mmm, I guess the energy of Taurus. What do they need to know? So for the month of October, we're using the um, Shadow Book, uh, Book of Shadows Tarot, right, which has two decks. The um, We'll be starting with the So Below deck, and we have the As Above for clarifiers. We've got the, um, what are the witch's cards. The, oh, I don't know why it's escaping me what these cards are called. I've had them for like I've had them for like 20 years. And then the um, Talisman Oracle, and we'll get a uh, healing, Celtic healing oracle at the end here. All right, ancestors, spirits, guides, what messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? The month of October. That might be this hesitant energy here. We have the Four of Swords out in the upright, Seven of Wands in the reverse, High Priestess in the reverse, Queen of Swords in the reverse, Knight of Chalices in the reverse, and Knight of Wands in the upright, um, Knight of Pentacles on the bottom in the reverse. And just to clarify, this is a mixed deck. They're all, you know, upright. So it's interesting because, um, the first card and the last card are upright and the rest are in the reverse. This could be why you're hesitant. It's like you're healing from something and you want to be able to let your defenses down, but you aren't sure if you should be trusting your intuition. Maybe somebody said something to you, or maybe this is um, about somebody who uh, has been around you that is, you know, kind of, uh, this woman is not nice. You know, um, maybe I heard verbally, so maybe this person is gaslighting you, saying something or previously was, right? Not not telling you the truth. This person, um, the Queen of Swords in the reverse uses the facts against people. Sometimes she straight out twists the facts to suit her to mess with your brain, right? Um, and she's she's like ruthless about it she has it's like she's very cold i'm feeling very cold energy and so here's the four of swords and the four of swords is about taking a break to heal and it's funny because she's like blowing bubbles right she's sitting at her desk like like there's work to be done but she's taking a break to um enjoy life right to enjoy the little things to have a little bit of play, playful fun time and that's like restorative maybe that's where you're sitting right now right we have the um the knight of pentacles on the bottom in the reverse this is very slow moving, begrudging type of energy, right? Um, it's the overarching energy that's attached to this. This person is disloyal. This this energy here is very, um, you know, wants to uh, reap a harvest but doesn't want to do the work, right? It's, and it could be very disruptive to the work that's being done um, to have these energies at play. So I can kind of see why you're... Um, you're taking a break back because we also have, I thought it was the Knight of, of Chalices looking at it. It's the King of Chalices in the reverse. You put these two together, these two energies together and this energy together. No wonder you're taking a time out. No wonder you're not really wanting to uh, participate in that with these people because this person um, could be very, or, uh, sorry, the King of the King of Chalices in the reverse. He's very emo like emotionally, um, out of touch really he like lets his emotions take over the situation he'll use your emotions against you so if you have this person using your emotions against you in a very masterful way and you have this person using the facts against you communication or you know they're both like stirring the pot in a negative way you are taking time out stepping back from that you don't you don't want to you, it's i heard disengage disengage and i really really like that you know here's the seven of wands seven of wands is about keeping higher ground right it's about people um 
being in a higher ground so that those those other wands can't get to you but those boundaries that are set in place standing from a, from a higher place and, and it coming from a defensive energy when it's in the reverse it's like you maybe you're not able to defend yourself against this um type of thing maybe you don't want to right maybe they're permeating your defenses and see how there's like this chart she's showing things it's like things are degrading from from that type of a situation i promise this gets better we're just going through what's happening here because you come out on you come out in a good in a good position right the two cards being upright you're taking a break and stepping outside of from healing from this because maybe things have come to light maybe secrets have come out maybe things are going to um be shown to you that were meant to be kept in the shadows right by these people and what it does is it puts you in a position knight of wands energy where you're reinvigorated and re-inspired to get moving forward and i think that you instinctually want to be doing that you know that the initial feeling that i got but knowing to stand back um, and stand clear from these these uh people around you while this is going on it's like let it's kind of like the let them show their own ass type of energy right like they're like the type of people who feed off of other people's emotions and getting a rise out of others because they're bitter because they're unhappy with themselves because they don't have this person's overindulgent right and this person is just Mm, getting a very a very nasty energy off of that queen of swords in the reverse so you know to stand back from it to heal that that's not that's not for you and that's not your energy and so he's like through um maybe you, you, while you're sitting in your grace right it's like not participating in this at all not putting any investment into it you don't your loyalties don't need to lie with people like this right things are starting to come to light and when they come to light it emboldens you and empowers you and it gets you moving right by the end of this by the end of this situation by the end of this period of time you are going to be um inspired and moving forward in a very quick and um like creative way i feel like you're 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 like like free from from those bounds right um and then look at that see the on the four of uh, four of swords you get the tower in the reverse exactly exactly it's kind of like letting that happen on the outside and disengaging from it like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i'm just gonna be over here blowing bubbles and enjoy you know, enjoying my 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 healing time right and uh, like avoiding the chaos um from coming into your your sphere well done taurus well done all right tell us about this queen of swords please two of air wow yeah indecision is blockages maybe you've blocked this person right maybe you've actually like block this person on the internet block their phone number i don't know i don't know but um how, take it how it resonates but by it could just be by disengaging right by by getting back into your healing space here um you've put a blockage on this person so you're they're no longer able to uh get to you but again there's that that point of indecision it's a um it's scrying right she's holding a holding a um pendulum and then which way does the pendulum go yes or no and what it does is it creates this it creates this pattern on the ground and you're starting to see and it's like i heard x marks the spot so um you know take that how it resonates could be right here it could be you know an ex affiliate an ex associate an ex somehow you know but but there's this idea of um putting a protective putting a protective barrier around you without the like without the type of effort that's involved like in the seven of wands this person's ready to fight back they're ready to defend themselves and this is like you've kind of like ab abandoned the thing altogether um because it's able to get at you if you do participate right okay tell me about this let's let's talk about the seven of wands in the reverse please what is that wow yeah, wow. Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, the, the good part about the Ten of Swords, it means it's done, right? It's reached the, a completion. Backbiting, betrayal, hurt, you know, stabbing you in the back. This is like the Julius Caesar scenario here, right? Um, but it's done and over with. It can't get any more finished. So you're like, why, why bother? 
um, keeping up my guard against something that's done and over with, I'm going to retract away from it. See how she's, she's it, it, interesting because divination, right? You're watching a tarot reading right now. Here's the scrying and here's the tarot. It's like these messages that are coming through to you. Here's the two of pentacles. It keeps you um, in balance. It allows you to see the situation and like, what are, what are you, what do you need to do to maintain your balance in this situation? Right. And that's, and that's where you're standing. You're like, I'm okay right here. I'm going to maintain my balance. Keep, keep the, um, keep juggling the, the situ, not the situation, but like your responsibilities. Right. It's like there's these, um, these little gnomes and they're in a tide pool and it's like what can what can be gleaned and gained from this temporary situation while the tide is down right there's things that can be collected for sustenance in these tide pools but when the tide comes back in um you, you they're they're not as accessible you have to wait for that period to go back through again so um it's like that delicate balance getting what you need in the in the period of time that you can it's almost it, you know it's like it feels almost like like waiting it out again that hesitancy um but knowing that the situation is over as long as you stand back from it and think that these two characters are here to ignite for like acknowledgement for confirmation for you for explanation for you of um you're you're correct in your healing like while you, while you're healing from all of this it's keeping you um solid right what is this king of chalices in the reverse seven of air seven of swords like strategy i'm hearing strategy the strategic liar you know this is the one that um pulls at your heartstrings uses your emotional self to uh sway you right or to put you in a topsy-turvy space so that they can uh collect from you whether it be energy time whatever it's like they're they're these two people if they're if they're not getting something out like what are they getting out of this besides gratification of their own like things that they need to heal within themselves right there's like this the i ching coins the yin and the yang right the the opposites of each other is like there is there's a good time for strategy to be put in in place here you have a strategy to with withdraw and retract right from the there's like this this is lying backbiting this this is really painful you know, it could be somebody cheating at a game. It could be somebody cheating at a um, a business. You know, like we're, it's like mindset. I'm not seeing. There are no cups out, meaning that this is not emotional. This has to do with the mental realm, the work that's being done, and um, the the solidity, right? Like what inspires you. This is all about like healing your mind space this month. Can you tell us about this um, high priestess in the reverse? There you go, Ten of Earth. And I, as I say that, Ten of Earth comes out. Long-term wealth, what can be gained, like inheritance, um, bank accounts, like estate things, right? The family, the people around us, the things that are that came before us and, and will be there after us and having, um, you know, like things are coming out about that, about how that has been functioning maybe in the background. And it's it's all like being out, played out on this thing in front of you. Like I said at the beginning, like let them show their ass and, and you can really see it. And as, as hard as it is to um, go through these things, in the end, you, it winds up, um, being being helpful and healing to all the people involved there's like this night and day and here's the, the high priestess in reverse like things coming into the light out of the shadows there's the knight of wands there you go element of earth that's the page of earth slow and steady wins the race the student energy this is your this is really great energy for you taurus because like when you get excited there's like that hesitance i want to go but i also need to know where my feet are going to be placed i need to know that i'm going to be stepping on solid ground i need to know that what i'm doing is going to bear fruit in the end and this is the the um ultimate student right learning that and putting those things into place and he eventually becomes the king of pentacles and then goes on to become the emperor because it's like long lasting effects of this and the inspiration that you've gained from this and allowed yourself through this healing process um you know let that all let them do what they the and and you're moving forward in a very very solid solid way here we go wow mother of air 
in the upright on the bottom that's the queen of swords that's here it's asking you you know i would say like you like this person being this person's intellectual match right but but um gaining gaining the strength and the and the victory because you're you're being honest truthful just right um, communicating things through through heard through the clouds see how she's got all these books around her can you see that like floating around her it's all the wisdom and knowledge that has been gained like like i said the student here so um you're gonna wind up coming out not only stronger but um like it's like you're beating them at their own game you're beating them at their own game here by by not participating in it and and um it, it it winds up them they wind up exposing themselves okay um wow number 34 the star ensures success in all enterprises when near and very unlucky um, and when very distant some unlucky events and it's pretty near because it's the first one that we pulled out and against that two of spades you have all these like twos it's like this you know maintaining the balance and the coupling here and there's like two uh queens of swords out here and again that that light and um, light and dark, that shadow aspects like look roses, um, it indicate beauty and rugged health. The star and the rose, come on, come on, this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. She's just blowing bubbles. It's like whatever these guys are doing, she doesn't even. She's like, she's not even like affected by it. it it's like it's like let it let it happen so that you can and say like let it happen um disengage from it happening it's going to happen no matter what put your blockages up and 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 um allow this to be exposed right like i said it could have to do with a couple because here we have the bride the bride ensures uh and i shuffled these this these three cards came out yesterday in the aries reading but i shuffled the crap out of these um before i started this and then you know you just saw me shuffling the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims when distant a turbulent married life and it's saying like you know move move on from this let let these people live in their own turmoil or deal you know deal with the repercussions of their own actions you're going to be you know sitting pretty and and moving forward in a in an unimpeded unblocked way um in the in the end after this it says clouds with the dark side towards a person indicates divorce and the bright side towards um the person ensures domestic happiness yeah by separating by creating a separation from this chaos you are creating happiness for yourself here it says this card represents the gentleman whose fortune is being told so this could be you right or it could be um it could be this knight of air or um sorry this uh element of earth knight of wands energy how however this works you know it's, it's like it, it might be like a little impulsive at first but there is you know it might seem a little fiery at first but there is um solidity to it it's just a little bit immature it's not a whole lot it's it hasn't learned that those things yet but it's able and willing to grow all right that is there that this person it says hand in hand indicates the um confiding disposition when in close proximity to um, none of the numbers that we have out uh friendship will warm into love when you're 45 nope we don't have it near 45 and uh Nope. So it's just talking about these partnerships. And I think it, it's really important um, to consider who we form partnerships with or if there's like a, a, two people who are in partnership who are causing damage. Um, you're acknowledging that. You're really seeing that and you're stepping away from it and pre preserving your own health and um, well-being. Right. Not even putting, not even putting up an effort to fight back. It's like like that going around, like letting that, like letting their chaos fall in on them and then you're coming out with the ten of pentacles and the knight of wands congratulations to you well done well played financial security ten of pentacles financial security wow and it's like this coin and then again it's like is that julius caesar <laughs> what i'm not sure but it sure has this like romanesque coin about it right so um just just keep that in mind, right? Maybe there's something in that story for you. Look, cast away negativity. I don't think those messages could be much stronger. Concealment. Wow. Yeah, whatever is um, 
whatever is being hidden from you in the background, um, it's gonna it's gonna come out. I feel like it's gonna come out and be shown to a large group of people. It's a large, solid group of people because the Ten of Pentacles is here. Ooh, and there's unlimited possibility and sovereignty, voluptuous authority. Interesting. The coupling of the earth and the sky, unlimited possibilities. Number we got 13 and 33. Uh the mythical sensual union of the sovereign god, and now look at that, sovereignty, and this is talking about sovereign god, of the sovereign goddess with, with a god or mortal king signifies fertility and prosperity. Their union elects the man as king and grants him otherworldly powers, so long as he is just. The goddess Morgan mated with the tribal god, and the queen goddess Medeb chose and tested her many um, sensual partners. The coupling of the earth and sky signifies steady growth through unlimited possibilities. Anticipate the unexpected. The essence of the earth and sky, represented by the union of the sovereign goddess and the mortal man, are joining to prepare a common accord and showering of blessings. The new is possible, yet the success of this transition depends on your attitude. Central union creates urgency and possibilities. The intensity of central coupling and the union of opposites represent the heat of transformation and new life. When the marriage of these forces is already within you, the force of birth requires astute steadiness. You may have to slow yourself down and pace your energy discharged erratically can confuse and disorder. Yet by relaxing and remaining steady, new life and new possibilities will emerge and grow. Nothing can be hurried. If you are receptive and steady, new possibilities will take root within you and in an easy and natural way absolutely this is the king uh, knight of wands page of pentacles energy absolutely it is all right let's we're gonna look up the sovereignty too because it's this important it says voluptuous authority uh, the sovereignty of earth is personified by the mother goddess who passes sovereignty to rightful kings. The power of earth originates in her fiery depths, which aliven the earth's surface and caress thermal springs with warmth. Her sovereignty signifies the renewing vitality of the natural world. You are not only wanting to be outdoors, but also wanting freshness and spontaneity of nature as core dynamics in your everyday life. The fiery and voluptuous quality of nature warms you and nurtures your personal well-being. You will benefit from these activities, such as sitting in the sunshine, feeling the wind against your face, listening to the call of birds and the sounds of animals, or swimming with the current of a river coursing like a stream through your muscles and nerves. This is not just the vigor of nature that attracts you, but also the fresh and startling impetus in the acts of nature that spark your drive and health and vitality. It is best to catch the wind of this fiery energy while you can. Like weather and seasons, it changes. Now is an excellent time for you to be spontaneous and to allow your enthusiasm to guide you into new adventures. Put your productivity agenda aside. Wow. Later, in a slower time, you will reflect and integrate. Wow. That's this. Like, she's like, just like, take that moment. Take that time out and enjoy this moment while all this happens, right? To cast away that negativity. And, um, things, new possibilities will be, will be open for you. By the end of this, you're going to be inspired and ready to go two 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 wow thank you taurus what beautiful energy with that at the end love it i hope that was helpful i hope that you got something out of it thank you so much for being here thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons and thank you for coming back and seeing us again next time have a wonderful october guys bye